So you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area and you're wondering about the cost of living. Well, in today's video, I'm going to bring you the truth. And right now, folks, it might not be as pretty as it was a year ago. This is your first time on the channel. We make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala, and I'm a licensed real estate professional and a team leader here in the Tampa Bay area, and we help people just like you move, relocate, invest, and sell in the Tampa Bay area. We got people getting a hold of us in all kinds of crazy ways right now. DMs on Instagram, but you can call, text, email. You can even schedule a time. I have a link to my Calendly down below. You can just schedule a time that works best for you. However you gotta get hold of us, just know when it comes to making that move, investing, buying, or selling in the area, my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. Well, today's video is gonna be pretty interesting. And the reason being is because the last time I did a cost of living video, it was right at the beginning of 2021. And let me tell you, a lot of things have changed since then. And if there's anything that you guys know about my channel is I try my best to bring the objective truth, um, the good, bad, and the ugly. And today we've got some news that is definitely not the prettiest thing in the world. Um, and I wanted to break it down because one of the things that I know is a very often search term is, you know, cost of living. Is it expensive to live in Tampa? But is it cheap? And when I made my very first cost of living video, it was a really fun video to do because we were a little hidden gem from a coastal perspective. One of the reasons that I moved my family 1,200 miles away from Detroit to Tampa was because I truly believe that from a coastal perspective, being on the water, this place was ridiculously undervalued. It was a hidden gem, <laughs> so to speak. Well, the news is out, y'all, right? The news is out. And we know real estate values have skyrocketed, you know, for a lot of different reasons. People being able to work remotely, inflation, um, rising wages. There's all of these factors that go into the devaluation of your dollar. There are so many reasons why um, that, that housing values have, have gone up and home prices have gone up specifically. But what I'm sharing with you today is the dark side of that, what I believe. And you know, I'm, lo and behold, I'm, I'm kicking through the internet this morning and I get delivered a, a an article from the Tampa Bay Journal and I wanna share that with you guys right now, okay? Um, it says, Florida is the least affordable place to live. Report finds. <laughs> and um, they're referring to two reports, which I will link in the comments below along with the article um, from realtor.com and Redfin. If you guys know me, um, you know that I think that Redfin does a really good job with their economist. Uh, realtor.com also does a really good job in the economists they hired um, to track this information and give projections. And listen, some of this is opinion based, some of this is fact based. I'm going to share the factual numbers with you guys when we start talking about cost of living because I think it's super important important. But the one thing that I do want to give a caveat right away is like, it says Florida is the, the, the least affordable place to live in this country at this point. But when you stack up salary versus housing, it's not what it appears to be. And I'm going to share that information with you because you hear that and you could be terrified like, oh my God, I can't move to Tampa anymore if that was on your mindset. But that's just not true. And I'm going to share the numbers with you that show that. But in terms of the growth in, is what they're referring to and rental rates, how they have astronomically climbed up. You know, we're going to get into some of that. And uh, bear with me, guys, because I'm going to read directly from this article to you guys today. But um, I found this report fascinating. And, and what it says is according to the latest report from Realtor.com, the area of my Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm Beach was the top Sun Belt markets for rent increases um, that month, followed by Tampa Bay at the number four position and Orlando at number nine. So they've had these huge jumps in rental increases. And this is where they're talking about in terms of affordability. It's not just housing. Um, in terms of purchasing a home, it's rental rates included. Um, and you know, when it when this report looked at it, it said the report found the typical person paid $2,929 a month for rent in Miami, which is incredible. And when we came to Tampa, which is what we're talking about specifically today, uh, the rental increase, the average person is paying $2,098 a month for rent in Tampa. 
and that's a big number. And I wanted to share that with you guys specifically because we're gonna get into a little bit more about these numbers, but I want you to stick with me and, and, and walk through why we're having this growth and why these rental increases in here and what we can do to change those things and how you can defeat some of those numbers. What I wanna to get to first and foremost is the fact that what, here's what it said. So let me let me get down to the, the brass tax here. It said, in, in Tampa, in order to, to, to own a home, you need to make roughly $67,353,000 a year. And that is not a huge number. Now, versus last year, it is a huge increase. Last year, all you had to make was like $43,000 in order to be able to afford a home. Now, that's a huge jump, right? That is a humongous jump, right? To the tune of 47% <laughs> in terms of that jump, in terms of uh, increase of, of the income you need to make to be able to, to afford to purchase a home. But $2,000 and, and $2,098, as a matter of fact, for the average rent, that is a big, big number and what I want to do is I want to pop over this other article here um, directly from realtor.com where it talks about the average mortgage right so the average mortgage payment in Tampa as of today is six, uh, 1684 dollars if we stack that against the average rent which is 2098 dollars that's that's a 400 dollar spread right so while you hear these numbers, yeah, you need to make a lot more money in order to be able to afford a you know a twenty one hundred dollar rent essentially versus a you know seventeen hundred dollar mortgage payment. But you know the thing that I, I really want to what shocked me was when it started stacking us up against other places. You hear that like Florida is the most expensive place in in the United States to live, but that's not the truth. And and I want to walk you through this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the Redfin article here where it shows how much money you have. To to make in order to be able to afford a home. And when we start talking about Tampa at that $67,000 uh, mark, I want you to compare that to other places. So let's go down this list really quickly. So bear with me, we're gonna jump over here. Anaheim, California. In order to afford the median home there, you need to make $192,568 a year. Boston, Massachusetts, $118,000 a year. Denver, Colorado, $111,000 a year. Los Angeles, California, $161,000 a year. Nassau County, New York, $110,000 a year. New York, New York, $125,000 a year. Oakland, California, $181,459,000 a year. Sacramento, California, $112,000. Riverside, $103,000. San Francisco, $292,000. San Jose, $288,000. Seattle, Washington, $151,000. Uh, Washington DC 97,000 okay versus Tampa Florida at $67,000 this is why Tampa is having this explosion okay if it cost you $292,000 to live in the Bay Area and you can make $292,000 and work remotely and you can move to Tampa where all you need to make is $67,000, your quality of living skyrockets. And that is why we are seeing this huge push in, in the, the housing, right? And in, in housing prices and demand for, for rentals because people are cashing out of those really high taxing, tax areas where they're making really good income, their home values are worth three times as much as ours are in Tampa. They're able to sell their home, take the net proceeds and buy a home here in the Tampa Bay area in cash right or put a significant down payment down and they're not affected nearly as much as the the local person who had been living in tampa making forty seven thousand dollars a year a year ago who now needs to make sixty seven thousand dollars a year that is where that number is coming from it's the change it's not the fact that um, we're super expensive because we're not we're a we live on the gulf of mexico we're in the ocean y'all and you can still buy a home here for less than four hundred and thirty thousand um, dollars in some areas you can get them as low as two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it just really depends on where you're looking now the that average price point is going up every single month so when people call me and they say hey Juan you know I'm considering renting for a while you know and sitting on the sidelines and seeing what happens with real estate that is a very speculative play if you're on the fence about making that move I just told you the average rent is twenty one hundred dollars a month 
So if you factor that in with the fact that our housing prices have been increasing somewhere between three and $7,000 every month, if we just go on the conservative side and say it's three grand in the, in the price range that you're looking at, if you take the $2,100 that, that you're taking and putting in rent every single month, and you take the $3,000 minimum increase that is coming, which is more like five, and that's a $5,000 loss every month you're sitting on the sidelines hoping and praying that the real estate is going to either have a correction or a crash, which I'm not quite sure of, because if there's a crash and you're sitting on the sidelines and you don't have cash, typically that means jobs go away, it gets harder to even get mortgages now, and it's very difficult. And these markets are entirely different. Listen, I know this is a bold prediction, a real estate crash will not be caused because of real estate. The only way, and I'm not an economist here, let me pre preface this, really the only way for Tampa real estate to crash right now would be a global economic meltdown or a national global uh, economic meltdown, in which case everything will stop. It won't just be Tampa, it will be everywhere. We have people moving into the tune uh, of a thousand people a day in the Florida. Tampa's gonna put another probably 50 to 80,000 residents in this year. Demand is sky high. Um, you know, inventory super low. If you refinanced at 2.35% and now you're going to looking at houses a year later and the same home that you were looking at last year is now $100,000 more and the interest rate is 2.5% higher, you're most likely not gonna entertain making that move, which makes it even more difficult to get inventory out to the market. So as I share this with you guys, like, and you hear those numbers and I see these articles, we really have to dig into the truth and, and look at where it's going on. Is inflation happening? Yep, that's across the board. It's happening to everyone. So that's not exclusive to Tampa. Are housing prices increasing? Absolutely. Have we seen a higher jump than most places in rental increases? That is a yes. So if you are renting or you are on the sidelines, you know, you can save yourself $400 a month just by purchasing a home right? That's a big swing. That's enough to cover most of your utilities, if not all of them, right? And maybe even a little bit of your gas money. So when you look at these things, I really want you to put apples to apples because when you see articles you're like that, oh my God, Florida is so expensive. And then you go compare it to everywhere else where most of the people are coming in from. Listen, our phone calls are coming from New York, <laughs> They're coming from the Midwest, Chicago area. They're coming from the Pacific Northwest and California. These are where the calls are coming in from because the people who are relocating from those areas have the means, they're making more than enough money, their quality of life is going to skyrocket when they move to Tampa. That is a big difference, y'all. And while you may be local and that may bother you, this is the reality, this is what's happening. So the question you have to ask yourself is like, how am I gonna put play in this, in this, new, in this new game that I'm in? And hate it or love it, it doesn't really matter. This is just where we're at, guys. So I wanted to share this with you um, because what I've noticed on the channel recently is you guys really like it when we bring content like this. So if that's you, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell. That way we, uh, you can let me know. That's feedback to me, letting me know that you like content like this. Like I said, I'm gonna share these articles with you guys. You'll have access to them at your fingertips. But if you are in any of those areas and you are considering Tampa, you hear, in, you hear those articles and you're like, oh my goodness. But when you look at the numbers, Man, I'm telling you right now, we are still a value. You look at areas like Naples, where the average uh, uh, median pr uh, price point is right around $780,000. You look at Miami, it's $100,000 more than us. Jacksonville's on the rise too. I'm telling you right now, Tampa, Florida is a great bet, especially in the long run. And again, if you have any questions regarding real estate, please feel free to put them down below or you can contact me, text message, email, phone call, DM, schedule a time in my calendar, whatever it comes to making that move, investing, or really relocating in the Tampa Bay area. Just know that my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.